Hey everyone, in this video what we're going to do is figure out what the limit is as x approaches 0 of sine of x divided by x all raised to 1 over x squared. Let's begin by rewriting the limit in the following form. The limit is x approaches 0 of e raised to the natural logarithm of sine of x divided by x all raised to 1 over x squared. Now these two are equivalent because e raised to the natural logarithm of x is just equal to x. So we can actually move the limit inside the exponential function as the exponential function is continuous and we can use the power rule for natural logarithms to bring this power down to the front. So let's do that. So we have e raised to the limit as x approaches 0 of the natural logarithm of sine of x divided by x divided by x squared. Now if we were to let x go to 0 in the numerator we would just have the natural logarithm of the limit is x goes to 0 of sine of x divided by x and this limit is just equal to 1 so we would have the natural logarithm of 1 which is equal to 0 and of course in the denominator we would also just have 0 so our limits of the form 0 over 0 and in order to evaluate a limit of this form we can use something called el hopital's rule so el hopital's rule basically says that if you have a limit as x approaches some value c of a function f of x divided by another function g of x then that limit is equal to the limit as x approaches c of the derivative of f of x divided by the derivative of g of x given that f and g are both differentiable at c and that they're of indeterminate form 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity. And we can apply this rule indefinitely as long as the criteria which I've just mentioned is satisfied. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to have e raised to the limit is x approaches 0. Now in order to take the derivative of the natural logarithm of sine of x divided by x we need to use the chain rule. So we'll take the derivative of the outside part and then we'll take the derivative of the inside part. The derivative of the natural logarithm is just a 1 over its argument so we'll have 1 over sine of x divided by x. We'll be multiplying this by the derivative of the inside part which we can find using the quotient rule. So we just have x times cosine of x minus sine of x divided by x squared and of course in the denominator we just have 2x. We can simplify this expression. Doing so we have e raised to the limit as x approaches 0 of x times cosine of x minus sine of x divided by 2x squared times sine of x. Notice if we were to just let x go to 0 again, we would have 0 in the numerator and 0 in the denominator. So we're going to have to apply a Hopital rule for the second time in order to progress with this problem. So taking the derivative of the numerator, we just have... So we have a product here, so we need to use the product rule. So we have cosine of x minus x times sine of x minus cosine of x divided by and we need to use the product rule again. So we have 4x times sine of x plus 2x squared times cosine of x. These two sum to give 0. And we can also cancel a factor of x. So we're left with e raised to the limit is x goes to 0 of minus sine of x divided by 4 times sine of x plus 2x times cosine of x. Now, if we were to just let x tend to 0 again, in the numerator we would just have 0. And in the denominator, we'd also just have zero. So we can apply a Hopital rule to this problem for a third time in order to try and solve it. So let's do that. So we have e raised to the limit is x goes to zero of minus cosine of x divided by four times cosine of x plus two times cosine of x minus two x times sine of x. Now notice if we just let x tend to zero, we just have e raised to minus one divided by four plus 2, which is just equal to e raised to minus 1 over 6. And that is the final answer to this problem. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this content useful. If you did, could you please make sure to like and subscribe as it really does help the channel out. I hope you have a great day.